brings to the moment of before we dance, right? So there's this moment when we approach ourselves and here, we want to find the reason of connecting, right? So we kind of go in this kind of slow motion matrixy thing, right? Because we want to be able to feel the little subtleties and the subtleness of our, of our partner's axis. Without that, if I just come up here and, and go here, here, it's hard, then I gotta do something else and find it, right, later, right? So to, to find it instantaneously, this is why we kind of create this growth outward, right? And then we can create and find this connection, right? Because we want as little physicality as possible with this energy that we create together. And then, to find our access at the moon, remember that it's not bending downwards where my embrace goes down. I want to keep my embrace up. So I need to bend my knee or bend my leg using my hamstring mostly and my a glutes muscle, right? To bend in a way where my embrace does not drop, right? So I still bend the leg to project using my standing leg, but I don't lose my embrace from the top. Right, so that's one huge point. And then we transition into here, which is I do the four step, and then I make her pivot, and then when she goes pivot, I, I go into her here. Right, I block off here, so we're chest to chest. And I'm turning here, I'm facing here, and I'm um, meeting her here face to face. And my, my back leg is free, all my weight is transferred to my front, because I want to go this way, behind me. Right, so then I lead her forward into me, and then I cross and walk back without. Right? So that is important to you. For me, in that position, I am just focusing on my hip level. Remember, you don't want to pull your left hip to the outside, otherwise I will pull my partner. I'm trying to, as much as possible, stay with him. My hip level is staying here. And also, I'm just focusing on my upper body. My legs are not important. Just following my upper body, so my partner upper body, my legs is gonna come with my upper body. Yes, the reason why I cross is because I want to lead her into me and there's no, if I go back here, she's gonna fall to my right side, right? In order to match her falling to my right side, I need to cross in front to match that. Right? That's the only reason. But I don't think cross, I just think stay with her, right? So again, do the pivot into her, take a step back, and then we have that, right? And remember, it's important to find the energy of our embrace, the elasticity, the flexibility is what's created. And then, whenever we change, she feels that with my embrace, whether I give her a lot of room with my embrace, or I close it in. Because if I close it in, it's something else, right? We can create the longer steps, or something faster, right? We can do stuff faster when I have more compressed embrace. But with an open, more uh, flexible embrace, then you can create this energy that, does, that requires little physical things, right? Because I'm always giving her room, right, to do stuff, right? It's almost like we almost don't even need to embrace. We can barely touch and we know exactly what we need to do, right, based on our upper body and where it's going, yes? And I wait for her all the time to land so I can move. She lands so I can move. She lands so I can move all the time, yes? And then we get to this position here, the very popular parada position on the back ocho. Once I lead her here, remember, you have to lead here to this middle point. She stops here, and then I lead her over. And when she leads over, I lead her forward without me, and I step back with her, and then we have this position. All right, so that was the last position of the very popular kind of back ocho parada thing. I lead her here. For me, for, for me, to remember, I'm not landing my heel because I will pull my heart into my upper back. So I'm just thinking here how much she wants me to go like that, I will go that one. I take my time here, and then whenever I feel the energy is going uh, opposite way, I'm going to his side. And my upper body is still with him. That's about it. Thank you.